Dr. Dragos Rathoshanu is an award-winning scientist, writer, filmmaker and speaker who has presented on five continents and is now based in New Zealand. He holds a PhD, magna cum laude, from the Centre for Census Systems in Germany and has received awards in his, for his innovations in the field of satellite-based intelligence. He is here to tell us all about his latest book, The Pursuit of Dreams. Welcome to the cafe. Thank you. It's great to be here. How fascinating. You sound incredible. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Are you from Romania originally? Yes, sure. Well, I was born about 34 years ago in Romania, in Eastern Europe. And so I grew up during the last years of communism, which was extremely tough for most people. Mm. And uh, I went to university with about $100 a month. This was all my parents could afford to keep me in school for five years doing engineering. So this $100, this $100 was basically enough just to for me to eat and have a, some kind of accommodation, and that was it. Now, because I couldn't do much, I had you know, not, not much to do, I spent a lot of these years of university going to bookstores and reading. I would uh, just go there, you know, take the books, read them for free. I couldn't afford to buy the books, so I would just read them and put them back. Now, as an author, I don't really appreciate people doing that, <laughs> but... And, uh, all these books were saying, look, if you have a dream, you can make it happen. If you have a passion, you can pursue it and make something. Bec um, my background and my education that I got in, in Eastern Europe was you have to get a job, cling on to it, and if you make it through 30, 40 years in you know, hanging on to it, you're successful, you've done it. Yeah. So that was where everything started. So th that was engineering, but you've got the PhD magna cum laude from the Centre, for, as Mel said, for Census Systems in Germany. Yep. Uh, uh, this almost feels like a different language to me in some ways because it's satellite-based intelligence. What drew right. you to that? I got the chance to be mentored by the person who built Hubble Space Telescope. So you know oh. Hubble is the most famous mm. uh, satellite in history, and he said to me, look, if you want to make something out of your life, it's, it's not how smart you are, it's never how smart you are, but you have to pay close attention to the environment you find yourself in because that's what drives everything, your mind, your thinking, your decisions, your behaviors, your results, everything. So ever since I've learned that, I tried to figure out how do I leave Romania? And then an opportunity came. It was like a God-given gift, a miracle for me to be able to go from, from that environment to, to study in Germany, then to go to NASA, in in Florida where they put the shuttle into space where they then to Silicon Valley so that's how it uh, it came about gosh you had a dream to go to Antarctica didn't yes. you how did you make that happen I was 24 years old and I said to myself if I am to look in my heart what do I really really want in this life and what is my dream I took a step back from everybody I didn't speak to anybody I didn't tell anybody what I was doing or thinking or the honest to God dream I have was I really want to go to the South Pole, to the North Pole. I want to explore the coldest and the furthest regions on Earth. So I said to myself, I'm going to give myself one year. I'm not going to tell anybody and I'm going to try any kind of idea that's legal and moral. That's uh, it's important. <laughs> yeah. Any kind of idea to see if I can make it happen. And I think what really saved me and helped me uh, fulfill this dream was I said to myself, I'm not going to judge the journey until the last second of this whole year. So I'm not going to look back after three months, six months, nine months to see is, is it working or not. I'm going to spend the whole year pushing. And it took 11 months and 15 days. Basically, all I had was a laptop computer and a huge dream. And after 11 months and 15 days, I actually flew all the way to Argentina and sailed to Antarctica. So when that happened, were you surprised? Yes. <laughs> you know, um, j just because I write about this now, it doesn't mean that this was 10 years ago. Mm. So I had no clue how to go about it. I had no idea how to pursue my dreams. I had no idea how do I tell the difference from the start? Which ones work and are successful mm. and which will just crash and burn and will not work? Which is great because you've done all the hard work for us yes. and you've figured it out and you've written a book, The Pursuit of Dreams. This is 10 years of work. Exactly. Yeah. So, and so it's lucky for us because we can read it now and mm. get a bit of a head start. So what, what do you want people to take away from the book? What are the key messages in here? Three things. And I think if regardless of your background, your circumstances, what you've been through, because I've 
come from a basic humble beginning, like probably most people in this world today. And if they have these three things in order, dreams do come true. The first one is what do you have in your heart? Because what's in your heart will become the driver, the fuel, the motivation that will keep you going for years, even decades, until you get the wisdom, the, ex the experience, the knowledge. You go through the process, you fail, you pull yourself up, and you continue until you make it happen. Until you honor what's in your heart, life will, become, will be hollow, if you will. Mm. The second thing is what's in your hand. You know, whenever I speak to audiences around the world and I ask them, what is your dream and why don't you go do it? The, the, the first answer, they say, I don't have, and then the list comes. I don't have the time, the money, the connections, the courage, you name it, the age. What we don't have is not in our stewardship because it's not there, right? So why worry about it? But if you, you can get people to focus on what they do have, what skill do you have? What do you know to do? What knowledge do you have? What's in your hand? That's where magic happens. And the third one, which is the one that actually breaks the doors and the walls in front of you, is who do you best serve with what you have in your hand? With the most pure intentions, honest, who do you best serve? And when you put them in the right order, when you honor what's in your heart first, and then you look at what do I have, and then you go about serving others honestly and truthfully, they will always give you back the fulfillment of your own dream. Oh, fascinating. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. The Pursuit of Dreams is available from all good bookshops right now. You need to get yourself a copy. And you can find out more information about Dr. Dragos on his website.